Hi my loves and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a highly requested video. I have possibly been asked to do this video a hundred times and I'm only now finally getting round to doing it. I have a feeling the last time I did my favorite MAC lipstick video was about two years ago, so it really needed updating. When I was getting ready to film this video, I was noticing that I either had really bright lipsticks or really nude lipsticks and I decided that I'm gonna do this in a two-part video. So this is my favorite nude MAC lipstick. So they could be pinky nudes, brownie nudes or nudie nudes. <laughs> Second part's gonna be more like the brights and kind of colored lipsticks other than nude, obviously. I have 10 of my favorite nude MAC lipsticks on front of me here and I can't wait to talk to you guys about them. You will be noticing a trend. I do quite like a certain type of nude lipstick. I also know that so many of you guys want to see my MAC collection, my lipstick collection. I think that's nearly all of them other than the 10 that I'm going to talk about in this video. I think I might be missing maybe two or three that might be in a couple of my bags. I'm going to be sorting that video by finish and that's the way I've kind of come up with it. So there is too many lipsticks for me to talk about in one video. I just, it's too overwhelming. But today we're going to talk about my favourites so you can kind of get that bit out of the way I guess. I'm going in no particular order either guys. I will be using MAC Whirl lip liner to line my lips for every single lipstick so I'm just gonna pick a one at random and the first lipstick is Max Myth. This was actually one of the first lipsticks that I ever got from MAC. It is a satin finish and I used to just wear this alone and it was quite terrifying. Me and my really good friend Michelle would just slap this on our mouth and it was like we conceal our mouth because it is not the most wearable on its own and you'll see that but it is one of those lipsticks that whenever I wear it, people always ask what it is. So you can see on its own, it's kind of a bit scary. I would describe this as a flesh tone naturally. I will show you how I make it work. It has a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit of like a peach going through it. It's obviously very unwearable like this. So that is how I wear Max Myth. Max Myth is impossibly difficult to wear alone on my skin tone. If you have a very fair skin tone, you might get away with it a little bit more. If you've deep skin tone, you can do what I do with it, like ombre it onto the mouth, or you can apply like a really dark red and you can use this in the center, or a dark purple, or a dark brown, or any kind of color and use it as an ombre shade. And that's what I generally use Max Myth for. I will never put it on its own because you saw how crazy that was. It probably still looks a little bit crazy now. One of my all time favorite lipsticks from MAC. I've gone through tons of these over the years and I loved it and still love it to this day. The next lipstick I want to swatch for you guys is Viva Glam 2. I bought this, I'd say two Christmases ago and every time I wear this in a video, somebody wants to know what the lipstick is. It's a really cool toned brown. It is a stunning color. Like I said, it's kind of cool, but it has like a bit of a pink thing going on to it. I don't know how exactly you would describe it, but it is definitely one of my favorites. It's so beautiful, so stunning. And like I said, anytime I ever wear this, people const constantly ask what is on my lips. So there you go, that is Viva Glam 2. I also want to apologize at this stage, you're gonna see an awful lot of like dodgy looking lip liners in this. So I hope, uh, I hope that doesn't alarm you too much today. So the next lipstick I want to talk about is Velvet Teddy. Velvet Teddy is a matte. Also, if I didn't say, Viva Glam is a satin finish, which is one of my favorite finishes from MAC. This is definitely a lot warmer than the last shade I showed you. It kind of has a slight sheen to it, as you can see on my lips. It's not completely like a flat matte. Very, very, very easy to apply onto the lips. It is one of those lipsticks that everybody went crazy about when Kylie Jenner said a couple of years ago it was one of her favorite lipsticks from MAC and everybody tried to get their hands on it. It is a gorgeous shade, it really really is, but there are tons of shades similar to it from the drugstore, like Bare It All from Wet n Wild is definitely very very close to it. I wouldn't necessarily run out and get the MAC version, but just if you were interested that's what it looks like. It is like definitely one of my top favorite most worn lipsticks from MAC because the shade is so easy to wear and even though it's matte, it's not drying on the mouth at all in any way shape or form it's not drying. I think Max matte formula <laughs> is a lot easier to wear than some other matte formulas like the Inglot matte formula. Wow that's a really really difficult formula to actually wear properly and also the retro mattes are even more drying like Ruby Woo would want be one of them but this is really comfortable on the lips, really stunning color and you can see why it's one of my favorites because it's just it's 
really pretty. So next up, I've got faux. Now, faux is definitely more of a mauve nude, and I actually just threw out my old faux. I'm after just finding this one. My old faux. This is the second faux that I've bought, I'd say, in the last six months. I'm really, really into this shade. I think it's beautiful. Like I said, it's more of a mauve nude. There's a lot more pink slash mauve in this than any of the other lipsticks that I am going to be showing you today. It is stunningly beautiful. It goes with so many different looks. This is definitely one of those lipsticks where I feel like I could put this on in the dark. It just applies so well, so smooth, and it's a satin finish. Like I said, satin is like my favorite finish from MAC. It's just wonderfully beautiful to apply on the lips. It doesn't seep into any fine lines. It's a gorgeous color, really wearable. Like you can see, I'm wearing blue on my eyes and it still goes with it. It is a gorgeous color. I highly recommend it and if you wanted to try out a MAC lipstick this would be one of my top recommendations for you guys because of how wearable it is and versatile. Again I'm so sorry about the lip liner today guys just please ignore it. Anyway the next one is Flesh Pot. Now this is one of my newer MAC lipsticks. I bought this maybe January. This like mitt is very difficult to wear on its own and I will apply it on its own just so you can see. Like this takes flesh tone lips to another level. It's so impossibly hard for me to wear on its own. Unlike Myth, Myth has kind of like a peachiness to it. This has more of a white base in it. So it's definitely not one of those lipsticks I would recommend on its own. So Flesh Pot is only a shade that I use kind of in the center like that and I usually use it over darker nudes. I think it is lovely for that reason. If you have definitely paler skin, you will really appreciate this shade, especially if you're looking for nudes. It's impossibly difficult for me to wear it alone. That is Flesh Pot. Okay, this lipstick is another one that I have had since probably the beginning of my collection of collecting MAC lipsticks. It has been one of those most raved about lipsticks. I repurchased this lipstick, I'd say between five and seven times. I've repurchased this so much. I have a backup currently in my collection. I can't live without this lipstick. This is Max Angel and it's a frost finish. This is probably the only frost finish lipstick that I actually like. <laughs> So there's no reflection of any glitter or anything like that in it. It is incredibly pretty on a ton of different skin tones. It is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful lipstick and it's so comfortable on the lip. Again, this is another one if I was in the dark that I could apply it. I would have no fear that this would go on streaky or weird or anything like that or it would go outside the lines. It's so easy to apply. It just looks stunning and one of my favorites and one of my oldest lipsticks and not this particular one I probably have this one about six months but in general it is one of the oldest MAC lipsticks that I have in my collection. The next lipstick I think I have this about two years not this particular one but I've had this in my collection for two years it's called Pure Zen and it's a cream sheen it's a beautiful orangey nude it's not quite like ravishing if you've ever tried ravishing lipstick it's not quite as orange as that it's a lot more wearable it's so pretty on and out of all the lipsticks I'm showing today, this is probably one of the sheerer ones, so you really have to kind of build it up. It's also a lot more glossy than any of the other ones that I will be showing today. It is such a gorgeous lipstick on, it's really, really wearable, and it's just something different if you were just kind of fed up with the brownie nudes or nudie nudes or pinky nudes. This is kind of more of an orangey based nude. So stunning, beautiful. I absolutely love it. I love everything about it, the application, how creamy it is on the mouth, how creamy it is in formula. Because it is a more creamy, your formulation it doesn't last quite as long as some of some of the matte formulas but it still lasts quite well on my mouth I do enjoy it I keep saying mouth I should say lips <laughs> I do enjoy it love it a lot and it's up there with one of my all-time faves so if you've been with my channel or if you've watched me for a while maybe even up to two years ago you will know what these last two shades are because these are my two like Holy Grail MAC lipsticks. One for more of a pinky nude, one for more of a nudie nude. So I guess you probably know what they are if you've watched me for that long. And if you have watched me for that long, please write down below what you think that these two lipsticks are. I think it would be actually kind of fun to see do people know what they are. I'm gonna start with this one here, which is Max Blankety. Did you guys guess right? Did you? Max Blankety is an amplified formula. I shouldn't really be talking when I'm trying to do this. This lipstick was made for me. Every single time I wear this lipstick, I just feel 
so happy it is my favorite nude lipstick nudie brown lipstick it's so stunning on so easy to wear it is so comfortable on the lips it's just beautiful and it is one of those lipsticks that I think everybody can wear I think everybody can actually wear this if you have a deep skin tone you can just wear a darker lip liner with this if you have fair complexion then it will just work with you so so well I just think it is one of the best formulated best colors it's just beautiful. I absolutely adore this and I cannot stress how much I love this lipstick. It is so stunning. I've gone through tons of these, like tons and tons and tons. Again, it's another lipstick I have in my backup drawer along with the last one I wanna talk about and Angel. They're just like my three holy grail lipsticks from MAC, even though I do love all the other nudes that I did talk about today, but this one just, it's just, it's just made for me. What else can I say? It's beautiful. So last but not least, oh, just one of my holy grail lipsticks ever of any brand. Now I have just remembered what actually happened to this the last night I was out. I put the lid on it when it was up and destroyed it. And I just checked my drawers and I actually don't have a backup of this. So this is my last one that I have and I need to buy a new one. This is Max Creme Cup. And look, don't judge it. Don't judge. This is one of the nicest most beautiful lipsticks ever. Devo over what happened. I put this in the fridge, I've frozen it, I've done everything to it, so I'm just gonna have to depot it now. I don't know how I'm gonna apply it. <laughs> it is a cream sheen formula, so stunningly beautiful. It is like that pink nude, very, very different to any of the other lipsticks I'm showing today. Even though people say that it's like Angel, I don't agree, they're very, very different on my lips anyway, and the formula is different too. So I'm just gonna apply this as best as I can. Oh, it's such a beautiful color. That's it there on my lips, that's Creme Cup. I don't think I've ever filmed a video without somebody asking what lipstick I'm wearing if I wear this. Stunning, gorgeous color. I love it so much, like I cannot stress how much I love this color. The day I discovered this, I was like, I hit the jackpot. I was like, I won the Euro Millions. I was just so happy and excited and I just have worn it ever since. And like I said, I've had tons of backups and now I need to buy a new one. I think it would go with so many different skin tones as well. That's Creme Cup, we're gonna stop harping on about it. So there you go, guys. My top 10 nude lipsticks from MAC. There are so many lipsticks from MAC that I just can't like put down and I love them so much. And I will also fill in part two of this with the deeper kind of more exciting lip products I suppose or lip colors because I'm sure there's somebody out there looking at this video going all those nudes are the same because I know if you're not a lipstick junkie you will just think all of those colors look alike but I know the difference and I could literally pick out a cream cup versus velvet teddy versus blankety versus flesh pot if they were all in front of me like in the MAC store, I know which is which. I even remember helping a lady at the MAC counter, she was trying to pick out a nude lipstick and I remember saying to her, why not pick out this and this? She's like, do you work here? I was like, no, I just really am obsessed with MAC lipsticks. <laughs> so guys, thank you so much for watching today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I loved filming it for you and talking about my favorite MAC, lips MAC lipsticks. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and do let me know what your favorite MAC lipstick is. Whether it be a nude lipstick or colored lipstick or whatever it may be, just let me know in the comment section. I love reading all your comments, guys. Thank you so much for all of your support and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. I would love that and I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye!